Hey guys, what is up? It's Ian with the Raven Games, and we are going to be doing a walkthrough of Fast RMX and all of its tracks. Now, Fast RMX is a racing game on the Switch. It's not available as a physical version. It is a digital-only download in the Nintendo Store. It is $20, and it is one of only a handful of games that are actually available for the Switch right now. So, it is a futuristic racing-based game. It's been compared to F-Zero, and this is the only game that I've picked up so far besides Zelda. So, I figured we would check it out and do some gameplay on the channel. We're going to be playing uh, Championship Mode, which I guess is just their, you know, league tournament-based mode where you just go through all the tracks and unlock more tracks. Kind of like Mario Kart where you have the different cups. Uh, I'm just going to do a novice right now because uh, I'm not very great at the game and I kind of just want to show off the gameplay of the game more than I want to be beaten by freaking computers. So we're going to be playing the Silicon Cup and we're going to play, uh, I did play like two or three races before this just to get a, a little grip on the game. I think when I... I was using the, the Voss before. Uh, I'm going to try the Sebra though. It's a little more balanced, it looks like. Hopefully, I'll gain a little more control over it. The game can be a little easy to uh, lose control at some points in the game, so. Alright, starting off in fifth place. Let's do it. Oh, and you gotta, this game's a little weird. There's these pulses um, that either speed you up or even lift you up over tracks. And you have to, you know, click X to switch pulses. And if you don't switch pulses, you'll actually either get slowed down by the, the yellow color stream if you're in blue or vice versa. Or if you don't switch in time, you actually can uh, wind up just driving right off the track because you won't activate the boosters that are actually supposed to boost you up. Uh, you also collect little particles. Uh, instead of getting items to take out the teammates like in Mario Kart, they actually give you booster so uh, I'll actually activate the boost right now and you kind of speed way past everyone and if you hit anyone while you're in boost mode you can knock them out oh that was close and am I gonna make it and I made it cool cool so we're gonna go yellow now because we got a yellow stream coming up now I am playing against just computers right now for the sake of going through the different cups there is a multiplayer mode you can play the game uh, multiplayer locally you can also play the game multiplayer uh, online which I haven't tried yet but I'll probably do some videos on in the future just to, to show me getting my butt kicked as I most likely will and there you just saw I, I failed to switch pulses in the sides uh, in time so the blue stream actually slowed me down uh, all right so we're in seventh place we definitely need to step our game up here uh, definitely don't want to lose on video. That would be embarrassing. So we're going to zoom ahead of all the competition. Using that spicy boost power right there. It's definitely an interesting game. I mean, it's not a game that I, I really want to sit at home and play in front of my TV, to be honest. It is a game that I probably could see myself playing on the go when I'm just bored and want to pop something on on the Switch. I could definitely see me sitting in the car or waiting around somewhere. Um... And playing this game, I, I think it's fun in that aspect, you know, on the go type of deal. Um, I don't think it's an in-depth enough racing game or a fun enough racing game that I would I'd want to sit home and play it all day. Unless maybe I was playing with some friends, I, I guess I might enjoy it a little more if I was playing multiplayer with uh, with some of my actual friends. Alright, so we need to catch the heck up here. So we are in like the home stretch of like the last lap here and we need to, we need to win this race is what we got to do. And we got some pulses real quick. This is going to be a close race. There we go. Taking fourth place we just took, so not too shabby. Let's see if we can maybe build up a little boost and boost ahead of these guys. Take up that W. Maybe not. Oh, game over. All right, fourth place. I'll take it. I'll take it for a, a novice to the game. So that is the, uh, the first track there. And uh, we'll go on now and play through the rest of the Silicon Cup tracks here. So we're going going now to the Subsonic League. Let's do it. Alright, getting off to a nice start here in second place, but kind of spinning out on that, so not very good. This 
this track is definitely a little more interesting as far as some of the obstacles in the way. It's definitely a very interesting kind of racing game. People compare it to, to F-Zero, like I said before, which personally I've never actually played, but it's definitely interesting. And I'm totally failing it. Playing it right now. Let's see if we can take first, and we can. Very nice. Uh, there we go. Just got hit by a comet or a meteor of some sorts there. These guys think they're going to overtake me. They will for the time being. It's a little bumpy. It's actually a little hard to um, to avoid smashing into the sides at some points in the game here. Um, <clears throat> it can definitely get a little bit difficult, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not bad. It's not bad. And to be honest, I'm playing right now in 1080p, 60 frames per second on, on my TV with the switch in the uh, in the docked mode, and it looks a lot better than I thought it would, and it plays smoothly. I've not seen any any lag or, or skipped frames or anything like that. And I'll be honest, sometimes on my Xbox, I uh, I see you know stuff skipping where where it really shouldn't be, and I, you know obviously that the games are a lot less extensive like, that you're you know playing on here, but I think that kind of fits into the experience that they are making sure the games that are running on the system are are optimized to be doing so. Uh, you know, it's definitely a, a game that takes advantage of the Switch's different controls. You know, the Switch has two, you know, left and right bumpers, and it actually uses all of those. So it's it's nice that um, to have a game so well optimized for for the console. I really hope that we see a lot of developers continue to make games for this console, and they take advantage of the functionality as well. Obviously, uh, you know, this game is not a triple-A title, it's, it's a small indie game, it's not even a gigabyte large in size, it's probably more comparable to that of a, of a mobile racing game, to be to be fair, but it's nice, they did a nice job with it, and they did a nice job polishing it for the platform. So we're in first place, hopefully we're going to take this W, so I don't screw up and let this guy behind me pass me, which I very well might. He's pulling me out, that jerk. He's going to take the W right now. No, oh, does he got it? Oh, he got it. He got it. It's all right, though. Second place, I can deal with that, guys. We're climbing the charts. We're going fourth. We're going second. Next, we're going first. <laughs> no big deal. Not a problem. All right, all right. And we're going in. We're into the next track of the championship. We have the Subsonic League. Oh, this is already the Subsonic League. I'm reading the wrong place. This is the, Z the Zenso Habitat. My bad, guys. My bad. Let's do it. Look at them drones. Look like, they look like exactly like the uh, DJI, like Phantom drones. Oh, totally on the wrong pulse. It's a little bit hard to switch the pulse quickly because you have to click the X button and your hand has to be on the A button at all times so you're not accelerating. So you kind of got to quickly switch or use your other finger which can get a little awkward. Uh, okay, smashing the side a lot to avoid those purple plasma shooters, whatever they are. Let's see if we can uh, bump ourselves up a few speeds here. And that's what happens when you try to speed over a jump. You smash into the thing and die. Alright, alright. So we're in fifth place right now. I'm worried about to take fourth. Or, oh, take third. Nice, very nice. The game, I'll be honest, like I said, it's not like a game I want to stay home and play all day, but it's a little bit addicting. Very fast paced, but it's very nicely done. Like I said, it runs so smooth. Like I, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm gen genuinely impressed by how well optimized for this system this title is. I'm not sure I'm, I'm liking the twenty dollar price points. I'm not sure how much I, I really actually would play this game. But oh, we just barely made it. I didn't even do anything wrong that time. But it looks like the computers actually failed to make that jump as well, which is a little bit funny. Let's see if we could. Uh, Got chop me up for some time here. This is one of the last lap, I think, now. Alright, let's uh, kick it into gear. Awesome. 
we're in third place. Let's see if we can catch up to these guys. I don't even know where where the other guys are, to be honest. How, how did I just wind up in... I somehow got to seventh place, and now I'm going to be in ninth after that death, so that's great. Oh my god, how do I keep doing that? It's kind of ridiculous. Now, I guess everybody else wrecked because I just wound up in third place even though I wiped out, but it's ridiculous. Like, you can't make that jump. Alright, we made third place, guys. It's not terrible. I'm not going to cry over it. It's not, it's not absolutely terrible, but whatever. I think we, uh, well, I think we done did it. And that is the Silicon Cup, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how let's see where I fared. Second place in the Silicon Cup. I'll take it. I'll take it. Rank two. I like that. Whatever, guys. That has been the first episode of our fast RMX walk through the Silicon Cup. I'll make more of these depending on how well they perform, so smash that like button and subscribe for more Nintendo Switch and all other Nintendo gameplays and news on the Raven Games channel. Until next time, I'm Ian with Raven Games. Thank you so much for watching.